and Mississippi State University. And let me <laughs> add that in there so I know to make I know to say it Meteorology next time. degree, Mississippi State University. Yeah. Also sings and dances. <laughs> sings and <laughs> Got your whole bio. It, yeah, we <laughs> <laughs> That's exciting, the first scenes are con. I'm excited, you know, yeah. I'm excited to actually like see everyone there mm -hmm. because, you know, I don't get out much in the community and, you know, we get to talk to people on social media yeah. and stuff, but we actually don't get to meet them in person. Yeah, and I feel like, like we're the same yeah. on TV, but it's like, hey, we're totally super cool yeah. and chill and we want to just talk to you and mm -hmm. hang out. So even uh, other talent too yeah. from radio stations and stuff, we just kind of stay in this box of the studio yeah. and don't get out. So come down and say hi. <laughs> I'll be there. It's <laughs> like a fun time. Let's do a TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> so it'll be fun. Yeah. And there is a chance for some storms later. So grab the umbrella. You'll nice need that. Nice segue. Thank you so much. <laughs> so right now we're waking up to temperatures at 60 degrees and we'll make it to the upper 70s, but also again, the chance for some showers and storms. Some of the warmer weather is here to stay for a couple more days. We did have a little bit of some thunderstorms popping up into places like Somerset County, and then those have weakened. So those are going to continue to move to the north and off to the east, leaving us with just a few stray showers for places into Washington, Westmoreland County, and then a few pockets of heavier rain just staying south of I-70. But we are warmer from this time yesterday by 5 to 10, even 15 degrees. We're in the 60s right now, and that's where our high temperatures should be. So another warm above average day by nearly 20 degrees. Same tomorrow. We'll make it to the low 80s. Winds are calm right now, 5 to 10 miles an hour. We could see occasional wind gusts by later on tonight at about 10 to 15 miles an hour, but for the most part, it'll be a fairly calm day despite the chance for some showers and storms moving in. After 2 o'clock, they'll be very scattered, hit or miss. Not everyone going to see these all at one time, but that's going to be the trend. And then again, if we see that sunshine, which we will, that could also help to fuel those showers and storms later on. But mostly just a general thunderstorm expected. A lot of those will keep pushing off to the east, but that area of low pressure, that counterclockwise rotation, you can kind of see that moving in, but then once we get to tomorrow morning, we'll wake up in the 60s again, and then by 6 o'clock in the evening, here comes that front, bringing us a line of showers, thunderstorms, some heavy downpours, could even have some gusty winds, and then it'll be out of here by 11 o'clock, but behind that, chilly temperatures and a rain and snow mix by Monday morning at 9, 10 o'clock. Little to no accumulation expected, but the biggest thing is going to be temperatures dropping below average, even for Tuesday morning. We're talking right around the freezing mark. So the best chance for that mix will be Monday and Tuesday, and then we'll dry out. But that's really the focus, especially if you're planting, could have some frost advisories. But tonight, 57, we'll have a few scattered showers and thunderstorms. But for the most part, those will kind of hold off until tomorrow into the evening. And then Monday, only 54 for the high chilly. Tuesday, only 46 for the high, but those low temperatures right around the freezing mark. Same thing for Wednesday. It's going to be a chilly morning, but then we'll jump to the mid 60s, nearly doubling those low temperatures and then upper 70s on Thursday. Plenty of sunshine to enjoy and then we're back near 80 degrees on Friday with partly cloudy skies.